In this video, we will go over how to turn off New Outlook. If you are using a Mac, then we have another guide in the description. The Mac steps are completely different than the Windows steps. There is also a different version of New Outlook that is called Outlook for Windows. This version is basically the same as New Outlook but it lacks the ability to switch back to Classic Outlook. This version has been coming pre-installed on some computers. You can just uninstall it like any other program. We will link a guide to uninstalling programs. Please note that to use Classic Outlook, you will need to have a license for Classic Outlook and have Classic Outlook installed. This is typically bundled with Office 365. There is also an apps view in Classic Outlook. This view moves the contacts, calendar, and other options from the bottom left to the left hand sidebar. We have a separate video about turning this off. New Outlook is very different than regular Outlook. New Outlook lacks many features and functionality of regular Outlook. New Outlook uses exchange data only and does not use local folders, such as IMAP or POP3. You can turn off New Outlook using the slider in the top right corner. Outlook will close and reopen as regular Outlook. You may see this feedback request form. You can just click Skip Feedback. You can turn New Outlook back on with the same slider. If you need to sync Outlook data to another device or program, or need your data on your phone, use Companion Link. Companion Link can sync to New Outlook or Regular Outlook. For Regular Outlook, select Microsoft Outlook Local. For New Outlook, select Microsoft Exchange Graph API. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more tips.